Hi, my name is Andrew Plett, and I'm going to take on a challenge. I, I recently acquired a Yamaha Hopper, which is kind of uh, in between a scooter and a moped. Um, it's not a scooter because it doesn't have it doesn't have like a floorboard where you put your feet. It has it has pegs for your feet like a motorcycle, but it's not a moped because it doesn't have pedals. Um, so it's kind of in between. Some people call it a noped, others call it a Yamaha Hopper. But I I'm gonna take this. I I've gotten it running. It it starts up now. When I first got it, it didn't start up. But but I'm gonna take the the engine off of it. And I'm gonna put replace it with an electronic motor and and add batteries. I'm gonna turn it into an electronic Yamaha hopper. I also want to add that I am in no means a mechanic. I've I've changed oil on a car. Um, I've replaced spark plugs. But as far as working on a car, I'm not. I, I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, Someone told me in order to get the Yamaha hopper running, I needed to clean the carburetor and the fuel line. Well, I didn't know what a carburetor was, so I had to get online and look up what a carburetor was. Um, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's basically where where the fuel mixes with the air, and and then it goes into the engine. So it, it mixes, then it goes by the spark plug. Um, but it's just a little thing, but it tends to get clogged up with stuff if, if you have dirty fuel, um, which could come from a, a rusty gas tank, which is what, what this Yamaha Hopper has. There's a lot of rust in there. Um, I've cleaned it out quite a bit just to get it running, but um, since I'm going to get rid of the gas in general and turn it into electric, I didn't, I didn't do a professional job of it. Here's my Yamaha Hopper, or some people call it a Noped. I acquired this from a friend recently, and he told me it didn't start, which was okay because I'm planning on converting it to an electric vehicle. If you look under the seat, that's where the gas tank is. You have a gas tank and you also have the oil, the two cycle oil. And that side looks okay, but the gas tank, there was a lot of crud inside. You probably can't see it, there's some gas in there. I tried to clean it. I emptied it and washed it out thoroughly with soap and water and let it dry and then added gas to it. And I was able to start it and I rode it about halfway around the block and then it died on me. Um, I might also add that I, I cleaned out the carburetor. And here's, here's the carburetor. It's pretty easy to remove. You just remove the air box from behind it. And then there's one screw holding the carburetor on. You can remove that, and then there's four screws on the bottom. There's four screws on the bottom of the carburetor that you undo. And then you can use some carburetor cleaner and clean that out. Um, and then there's a nozzle that you can unscrew inside there with a, you use a flathead screwdriver to, to unscrew that, and you can clean that out. and. That's important. That's usually where it gets clogged because there's about a pinhole size um, hole in there. So any rust from the, the gas tank, anything in the fuel line, here's the fuel line. And, and there's actually a an inline fuel filter going from the gas tank to the carburetor. And you can see some gunk in there too. That could probably use some cleaning. But all of this is going to be removed because I want to convert it into an electric, an electric Yamaha hopper. So this is this is it in the original state, and soon I'll be able to remove all of the all of the 
gas engine and I won't need this exhaust anymore. It already has cobwebs on it. But just for interest, I wonder if it would start up. So let me find some place to put this camera and then I'll try to kick start it, see if it'll run. Uh, last time, well, it died halfway around the block, but sometimes I'm able to get it started. And I'll probably, once, once I remove the engine and things like that, I'll try to sell some of the parts rather than, rather than just throwing stuff away. So let's see if we can get it started. Okay, we're going to try to start it. I'm not making any guarantees. It probably won't start. Put the key to the run position. Hold down the choke. And we'll see. Oh, there it goes. There it's running. It, it probably won't stay running, but if you look at the back tire, when I give it some gas, it, it, it starts to turn. So I could probably ride this for a little bit, but more than likely it would die by the time I got around the block. Because um, there still is some rust in the gas tank, and I'm not sure if if everything's working as far as the engine mixing the oil because it, it mixes its own oil you don't mix the oil first so it'll stay running for a little bit and then it'll probably die so I'm gonna turn it off now so it starts up but I'm gonna convert it to electric and then it'll be a lot quieter